been a speaker. I'm a father, a husband. I've managed to stay married to the same woman for more than 38 years. And I can want to share a scenario with you, Madam Speaker. I can imagine getting a call from my wife one day. One of our children has not come home from school. Well, of course, you know, being the father I am, I'd be like, here's your call. Well, of course. Um, Okay. Did you start calling the friends? Yes. I'll be on my way home from work right now because I love my children. And it's more important than my job. And we would start going to all their friends and start looking on all their social media, going to the mall, all the places a typical teen would hang out. And we would start looking, and then we'd start calling our relatives, Madam Speaker. Are they at one of the the relatives' houses? As the evening grows, we'll call the police department and say, our child is missing. And of course, they'll probably say, not missing 24 hours, don't worry about it. But that's not, as a father, a loving father, that's not acceptable. This isn't a pair of keys, pair of shoes, or the family dog. This is my child. So we would start scrambling around. We would start calling our friends to join us because our children are more important than our friends' jobs as well. So they would, my friends, the people I know, would leave their job and they would join in the search. As it draws close and they're all getting tired, Madam Speaker, I would not sleep. I would not sleep. My wife would not sleep knowing that our child's out there. We've heard of all the bad things that could happen. Sex trafficking, kidnapping, beating, murder, drugs. We wouldn't sleep. We would go all day and then the next day start calling again to the police department. Please come help us. Please come help us. And they wouldn't show up because they know that your child's in a family home, but we don't. We don't understand that. I wouldn't go to work the next day. In fact, I wouldn't go the next day. And as the days turn into weeks and turn into months, I would not stop until I found my child. I would not go to work. And in fact, Madam Speaker, I've been a a search and rescue pilot with a nationwide uh, organization. I have walked by the families who are crying and wanting us to go find their families that plane crashed. And I come back in the evening, and they're still there crying because we were out of duty day. And I come back the next morning, and guess what? They didn't leave. They stayed there at the airport. They cried and cried and cried. 